Now, a U.S. court has restricted some officials and agencies of President Biden's administration from meeting and communicating with social media companies to moderate content. Absolutely, Shivan. Now, the ruling marks a win for the conservative advocates who allege that the Biden administration has used pandemic and the threat of misinformation as an excuse to censor or suppress content. The ruling could seriously limit top government agencies from notifying the platforms about false, misleading or problematic content. The order applies to a slew of top law enforcement agencies such as the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the State Department and the Justice Department. It also applies to health agencies including Center for Disease Control and Prevention and prominent officials such as White House Press Secretary Karen Jean-Pierre. White House, House officials said that the Justice Department was reviewing the court's injunction and will evaluate its options. Some experts criticized the ruling, saying that the authorities needed to strike a balance between calling out falsehoods and bearing towards censorship or curbing free speech. All right, for more on this, we earlier spoke with our correspondent Susan Tehrani. We asked her what the ruling says exactly and the implications thereafter. Listen in. It's important to know what the ruling says exactly, considering the fact that this issue will no doubt be politicized in the days, weeks, even months to come in a hyper-polarized environment, notably as we're approaching the 2024 presidential elections. The ruling said that U.S. government agencies like the Department of Health Human Services and the FBI could not talk to social media companies, quote, for the purpose of urging, encouraging, pressuring, or inducing in any manner the removal, deletion, suppression, or reduction of content containing protected free speech under the free speech clause of the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. However, it's also important to note that there are exceptions as well. Susan also explains as to what happens next. Take a listen. Well, for now, Tuesday's ruling marks a win for Republicans suing the Biden administration, is saying that they used the COVID-19 pandemic and misinformation as an excuse to clamp down on views that disagreed with them and with the government. U.S. officials have said that they were aiming to tamp down misinformation about COVID vaccines and prevent deaths. But critics argue that what was considered misinformation perhaps a year ago, uh, well, some of it at least, is a term to be common sense today as the science has developed or quote unquote changed. For now, the White House says that the Justice Department is weighing its options.